Hi, we're talking about the Doppler effect and uh, we're just continuing where we left off. So, in this problem, you're the blue car, you're driving at a constant speed of 82 kilometers per hour. You're passed by this red car who is traveling much faster at 116 kilometers per hour. If the frequency of light emitted by the taillights of the car, right here, that passes you is 4.3 times 10 to the 14 hertz, what frequency will you observe? Explain this value to nine significant digits. Also, what is the change in frequency? All right, so for this, we're going to be using the equation. The frequency observed is equal to the frequency emitted by the source times 1 plus or minus u over c. Okay, so we know that the... Uh, frequency of the emitted source, which which is our tail lights down here, uh, is going to be 4.3 times 10 to the 14th hertz multiplied by 1, and we're going to use a minus, and this is because our source is going faster than us. Okay, it is pulling away from us. Um, so we're going to use the minus. Now, if our light source was, say, the, uh, the car was going the opposite direction and we were using its headlights as a source of light, uh, then we it would be positive because it would be coming towards us. But since it's going away, uh, we use a minus sign. So 1 minus uh, u. So we know that u is our relative speed of the observer and the source of light okay so <clears throat> so how sh so we've got two usually this is or this is going to be a speed so we've got this 82 kilometers and we've got 116 so which one should we use well we're going to use the relative speed okay and so if you were to take r82 and use that as a baseline you subtract it from 116 you get 34 kilometers per hour so you could say this red car is pulling away at 34 kilometers per hour However, this brings us to, okay, so we just got uh, 116 kilometers per hour minus 82 kilometers per hour gives us 34 kilometers per hour. But we know that C, okay, so we know that C is going to be 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. So we also need to convert this to meters per second. Um, so when we put this in here, we're going to put what is 34,000 meters. And we'll just put that, okay. And we're going to divide it by 3,600 seconds. Okay, so we know that this is, uh, let's just, here I'll show you. So if we had 34, thousand meters and, and right now this is in meters per hour right so uh, what we do is change that by dividing it by 3600 seconds per hour the hours cancel off and you're left with meters per second okay <clears throat> so let's do this I'm just going to put that in that bracket, okay? So this is the equation right here. You're going to be this, using to solve this problem. So let's go over to the calculator. All right. So we got 4.3 times 10 to the 14th power. Okay. We'll multiply that by 1 minus or 34,000 meters divided by 3,600 seconds. And we're going to uh, divide that by the speed of light, which is 2.9979 uh, times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And that is going to give us 4.2999986, yada, yada. And so we're going to go back uh, 
nine significant digits. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're going to go back to the six. All right, so. So for part A, okay. So for part A, the answer is going to be 4.299999986, okay? 86 times 10 to the 14th hertz. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Now for for part B, uh, so we know that this is smaller. So all we're going to do is um, for part B, all we're going to do is we're going to take uh, this answer and we're going to subtract the 4.3. So let's go back to our calculator and we say we take this minus uh, 4.3 times 10 to the 14th and that's going to give us a negative 13,540,000 all right, so then let's do that negative, or you can just say negative 1.3546520, uh, times 10 to the seventh. Okay. So for part B, you're going to say negative 1.35, Five two zero times ten to the seventh hertz. Okay. And the reason why it's negative is because we went down. Okay. Uh, we as it's going away, the frequency we observed is going to be lower than the actual frequency. And uh, that's how you solve that problem.